The manual clutch on the YXC1000R is a multi-plate wet design, the same basic design as many motorcycles and some ATVs. Instead of a single larger diameter dry clutch disc, typically used on cars or trucks. The YXC1000R is a non-unit construction design, meaning the engine and transmission are separate components, and the clutch is located in the separate transmission assembly. The wet design means the clutch assembly and the plates are lubricated and cooled by motor oil, and that oil must meet the JASO MA certification to prevent possible clutch failure. Never use any type of gear oil in the transmission. Use only four cycle engine oil that meets the JASO MA certification, like Yamalube. Oil that is not JASO MA certified contains friction reducing additives that will contaminate the clutch friction plates, causing them to slip when the clutch is engaged and eventually fail from being overheated. The multi-plate design allows the clutch assembly to be much smaller in diameter than a single clutch plate and still have the overall surface area needed to provide the friction required to transfer the engine power to the transmission and driveline. The YXC1000R also features a hydraulic system to disengage the clutch, which reduces the effort needed to press in the clutch pedal. A hydraulic system also eliminates a clutch cable and any type of mechanical release mechanism. But since the effort needed to disengage the clutch is reduced, and the fact that you're using your leg to depress the clutch pedal, it's much more difficult to actually feel if you have the clutch partially disengaged if your foot is resting on the pedal. If your foot is resting on the clutch pedal between gear shifts, the clutch can be partially disengaged without you realizing it. This means the friction and metal clutch discs are not fully squeezed or clamped together by the clutch spring and will cause them to slip against each other under power. This slipping greatly increases wear on the friction plate material and creates a tremendous amount of heat. When the friction plates are exposed to excessive heat, the friction material is basically cooked and the surface becomes hard, which allows more slippage, which increases the heat even more until the plates eventually fail completely. And the excessive heat from slipping destroys the steel clutch plates also, damaging the friction surface and causing the plates to distort or warp. The floorboard on the YXZ1000R has a foot rest area just to the left of the clutch pedal. This gives you a place to rest your foot when you're not using the clutch, and it's specifically designed to be near the same height as the clutch pedal, so you can move your foot onto the clutch pedal very quickly and easily when shifting gears. You should never let your foot rest on the clutch pedal during operation. You can, of course, hold your foot up off the clutch pedal between rapid gear shifts. But if you're not actively using the clutch, be sure to move your foot over to the foot rest. Probably the single biggest factor contributing to clutch plate wear is excessively slipping the clutch during use. Slipping the clutch refers to the process of controlling the amount of engine power that's applied to the ground with the manual clutch and engine throttle. For example, accelerating from a stop, climbing a hill, or negotiating tight areas on a trail. The driver has their right foot on the gas pedal and their left foot on the clutch and manages application of the throttle and clutch as needed, pressing in on the clutch pedal with more foot pressure and letting off the gas when they want less power applied to the ground, like when the tires begin to spin. Putting more pressure on the clutch pedal reduces the squeezing force of the clutch spring, so the steel and friction clutch plates spin against each other so less engine power is transferred to the tires. Like we discussed before, this slipping generates a lot of heat. When the driver needs more power to the ground, they apply more throttle and release some of the pressure on the clutch pedal. This reduces the clutch slipping and transfers more engine power to the wheels. Slipping the clutch is part of normal use, and the clutch plates and oiling system were designed and built to handle normal slipping and even a certain amount of extreme use. It's the excessive slipping over and over in a very short period of time that generates too much heat for the clutch plates and transmission oiling system to handle. And as we saw before, when the plates get too hot, the slipping can increase until the friction material on the plates fails completely. Slipping the clutch, this balance between the gas and the clutch, becomes instinctive, more natural, the more you drive a manual clutch vehicle. And you quickly get to the point where you automatically feel when you need to stop slipping the clutch and let it cool. If you need to let the clutch cool, find a safe spot to stop, put the transmission in neutral, and completely release the clutch pedal, and let the engine idle. The transmission oil pump continues to spray oil on the clutch assembly as long as the engine is running. The oil helps carry the heat away from the clutch, reducing the temperature of the clutch plates. While the clutch cools, think about your alternatives. See if it's possible to carry a little more momentum to get over that obstacle or through a tough section of trail or through the mud. Maybe choose a different route. When you're on a trail with a group of vehicles, hang back a little further from the guy in front of you. Give yourself more room to increase your speed a little if needed. More distance might also give you more choices on how to navigate a tough spot. Clutch pedal action is also critical for proper clutch operation and to ensure good service life. Checking the pedal should be part of your pre-operation checks each time you drive the unit. The owner's manual specifies the clutch pedal should actually have no free play when released. 
but it's important to make sure the clutch pedal rod does have a little free play at the pivot point, like this. If there's no free play here, the rod might actually be pushed too far into the master cylinder body, which would start to disengage the clutch, pushing on the pressure plate, preventing the friction in the metal clutch discs from being fully squeezed together by the clutch spring. This will cause the plates to slip against each other under power. If the clutch rod pivot has some free play, like this, you're good to go. If you do not have any free play in the pivot, you should reset the clutch pedal rod adjustment. Make sure the pedal is all the way released and contacting the frame stopper. Loosen the lock nut, turn in or out as needed until there's free play in the pivot, retighten the lock nut to the specified torque, and recheck the free play. It's important that the lock nut is properly tightened. Your Yamaha dealer can help you if needed. You should also routinely inspect the clutch pedal pivot and stopper area for mud or other debris that might prevent the pedal from moving freely or from returning all the way to the frame stop, which would again hold the clutch partially disengaged. The entire driveline on the YXZ1000R has been designed to handle the power from the 1000cc three-cylinder engine and give many miles of reliable service. But there are a few instances that will cause excessive wear or premature failure of the clutch assembly. Trying to get unstuck or use the WAG C1000R as a tow vehicle. If you get stuck in really deep sand or mud, be very mindful of how much you slip the clutch and allow the clutch to cool if needed. Trying to free your YX C1000R by excessively slipping the clutch could lead to severe damage of the clutch and possibly the engine and driveline. Vehicle modifications such as different wheels or tires or engine performance modification such as installing the turbocharger can greatly increase the stress and wear on all clutch and driveline components. Overloading the unit or attempting to tow some type of trailer. The YX C1000R was not designed to tow anything. Always follow the maximum load rating of the vehicle which is listed on this sticker and in your owner's manual. Trying to climb over boulders or other obstacles. The YXC 1000R is a great climber, especially in diff lock mode, but excessively slipping the clutch when climbing over boulders or trying to get over obstacles that have a very flat vertical face can really generate a tremendous amount of heat in the clutch and greatly increases wear on all clutch components. When approaching a rocky ledge or even a mud hole, try to carry a little more momentum and use the torque of the engine to carry the unit up and over the obstacle. If you approach the same situation with no momentum, the unit might just stop with the front tires up against the ledge. You would then have to excessively slip the clutch, really abuse the clutch, to try to get up and over the ledge or out of the mud hole. By carrying more momentum into certain obstacles, it will give you the confidence to not use the clutch and allow the engine to accelerate and carry you through. The Recluse Auto Clutch System is an optional Yamaha accessory that allows the driver to operate the manual transmission without using the clutch pedal to accelerate in gear from a standstill or when coming to a stop, effectively eliminating engine stalling in most operating conditions. The Recluse System uses most of the original clutch plates and components, so proper adjustment during installation and periodic checks of the installed gap is very important. It's normal for the Recluse EXP disc and the clutch plates to wear and become thinner when used so readjusting the install gap as needed is part of normal maintenance. Very aggressive drag race type starts will increase the wear rate and produce a lot of heat in the clutch assembly, especially when repeated over and over in a short period of time. Excessive wear or failures due to the conditions described in this video are considered the result of strain, neglect, abuse, or modifications and are therefore excluded from the warranty coverage. If the clutch ever does need service on your YXZ 1000R due to slipping or damaged clutch plates, be sure all clutch components and the transmission oil pump system are inspected. The high heat created by a slipping clutch can also damage the inner clutch boss, pressure plate, spring, or outer clutch basket. Not replacing worn or damaged components can cause abnormal operation and reduce the service life of the rebuilt clutch. Be sure to inspect and clean the oil pump strainer. Many times the material comes loose from the friction plates when they become overheated and fail and can clog the transmission oil strainer. This would restrict or totally block the oil flow to the transmission and clutch and result in severe damage. Your Yamaha dealer knows these procedures. These are all very common steps when repairing a unit with a multi-plate wet type clutch. But it never hurts to be an informed consumer and make sure these steps are documented on the repair order. Oh, and be sure to specify that only genuine Yamaha parts and Yamalu motor oil are used in your repair. Following the information and tips in this video, and the cautions and warnings in your owner's manual and labels on the unit, will greatly increase the service life of the driveline and clutch assembly on your YXC 1000R. Be sure to visit or contact your Yamaha dealer if you have any questions. Thank you for watching.